meal prep, switching gears. A lot of you guys have asked me to share what I do for meal prep, so we're gonna do a little meal prep together, okay? Let's get into it. Okay, so since I work from home primarily, and I love to cook, I usually don't prepare individual meals like if like I would if I were to go to a job and I need to have like my lunch with me or whatever. Because I love to cook and because my mind is so indecisive all the time, <laughs> I don't like to do, do it that way. So instead of meal prepping that way, the way that I usually do it is I prep all the food that I buy so that it's ready for me to grab and cook or like grab and put together. What I mean by that is I bought a pineapple and a watermelon and some strawberries and the meal prep that I do for those is just cutting them up and putting them in Tupperware so that I can then just grab it and have it be easy, ready to go. Oh my gosh, so good. First thing I did was cut up all the fruits. So I made pineapple, my watermelon, and I also prepped strawberries and blueberries. So the way that I do it, this makes it super easy. Say I want a quick snack and I don't want to be in the kitchen for 20 minutes preparing my snack, I just grab some fruit in a bowl. Or if I want to make like a yogurt parfait in the morning. Or if you want to throw any of this fruit on my chia pudding that I'm gonna make. Even like making a shake and I want to put the fruits in it, it's already cut up and ready to go. So I just grab it and throw it in. It just, this meal prep process just makes my whole life faster and easier. So that's what I mean by prepping. Likewise with um, vegetables. So I love red bell peppers. I think that they taste so yummy. So I bought a bunch of those. We're gonna cut these up, put them in Tupperwares, along with an onion, some mushrooms, and just have those ready to go already chopped and prepped for whatever meal I'm gonna cook this week. Now for meats, what I usually do is I take the meat that I know I wanna eat this week. Today we have a chicken and I'm gonna defrost some yellowfin tuna. Steaks from Amazon, fresh. And what I do with my meats, instead of cooking them now, I will marinate them. So I'll cut them up and I'll marinate them in the fridge so that way one night this week or one day if I want to eat this for lunch, I'll just grab it and cook it real fast. I like to do that because I work from home so it's easy for me, but obviously you can do any of this in advance, like the cooking of the meats. If I were to go to like a job every day and I would need to bring my food, instead of just marinating, I would cook them and then put them in Tupperwares like these in the fridge, ready for me to grab and throw into whatever lunch I'm gonna eat. So. I hope that makes sense. I'm also gonna make today some chia pudding for this week. I'm gonna make a big box of it, a big Tupperware container of it. I love chia pudding and I've been sharing a lot about chia seeds on my TikTok. One of those videos actually kind of went viral. It got like over 1.2 million views. That's like my best video of all time since I started doing social media content creation. Like who knew it was gonna be about chia seeds? <laughs> you know, so random. But chia seeds are so good for you. They're so incredibly amazing with everything that they contain. So go watch my chia seed video on TikTok and get caught up to speed with chia seeds. I'm also gonna be making more tuna salad because your girl ate through most of it today. So other than that, let's see, we have fruits, we have breakfast stuff like chia seed, pudding, we are gonna marinate our meats, we're going to cut up our vegetables, we're gonna make the tuna salad, and I think that's all I'm gonna do this week for meal prep, but let's get into it. I just cut up all of the vegetables. So I have red bell peppers that I cut up here, mushrooms, and then onions here. So for these veggies, some, some things that I might make during the week with these are throw them on top of salads. I could make a veggie scramble. I could make a stir fry. I could put them in a pasta dish. That's why I like to just prep everything. That way, whatever I'm making, I can just throw it together and it's ready and I don't have to freaking wash and cut and all that, because let's be real, if you have to wash and cut and do that with your veggies, are you gonna eat them? Way less likely chance, you know what I mean? So doing this in advance helps me a lot during the week just to get all my macronutrients, micronutrients in and to make yummy, healthy, good meals. Next thing we're making is the tuna salad and I know the tuna salad sounds so gross. Tuna salad, who wants to eat that? But actually make, make it really yummy. Weston sort of showed me this recipe. You take four cans of tuna, so I'm just gonna dump this in here. 
All right, guys, you're gonna put the tuna in the thing, and then what you're gonna do is add a few tablespoons of Miracle Whip Light. Just a few, like, I don't know, three maybe. I'm gonna do like three big heaping scoops of Miracle Whip. Then the next thing I add is mustard. You can use any type of mustard. And I just do like a little sprinkle on top, you know, like back and forth. Okay, and then here's the secret ingredient. If you guys are like me, you love spicy, right? So I'm using sliced hot jalapenos. And I'm gonna actually pour the juice in here. It's gonna give it a little spice. Unfortunately, I don't have any more jalapenos. Actual jalapenos just have juice. But if I did, I'd put them in here as well, chop them up, and it gives a little crunch into the salad. But that's it, you just mix it up, maybe add a little salt and pepper, and it's delicious. Like, it's actually so good, and it's so high protein. The amount of protein in this, in tuna, is like crazy. Like, you can eat two little crackers with this tuna salad, and it's like 40 grams of protein or something. It's a really good idea for a quick, on-the-go, healthy snack. You could even make a tuna sandwich with this, but I usually put these on top of crackers or eat them with crackers and they're bomb. So that's what it looks like. Boom! All right guys, so now that that's done, moving on to the rest of my meat. So the chicken that I made, I just coated it in olive oil, threw on some salt and pepper, and that's what I'm gonna leave it in the Tupperware like. Usually I would marinate it with like a flavor, like teriyaki sauce or something, but I don't know what I'm gonna use the chicken for yet. So just a basic salt, pepper, olive oil, that's good for me for right now. The tuna steaks, I am thawing in this, and as they thaw, I'm gonna let them thaw in this gyoza dipping sauce from Trader Joe's. It's sort of like teriyaki, but it's just a little bit of different flavor. I usually always do my tuna steaks in something like with an Asian flair, so I'm gonna let that, might as well just finish it off. I'm gonna let that marinate in the fridge, and that brings me to the very last part of my meal prep, which is gonna be making chia pudding. I'm gonna show you that recipe real quick, and then that's it. Chia pudding, here's my famous recipe. Put some chia, I guess I should probably, wait a second. Wait, wait, I should probably measure this. We're gonna do half a cup of chia seeds. Okay, so this is a quarter cup, and we're gonna do half a cup. Here's the famous recipe. Half a cup of chia seeds to two cups of liquid. So I'm gonna use a mixture of oat milk. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna use almond milk instead. It doesn't matter what milk you use. You could use coconut milk, you could use oat milk, you could use pistachio milk, you could use regular milk, like it doesn't matter. It's totally up to you. But I'm gonna use almond. I usually like to use oat, but I like to save that for my coffee, so I'm gonna save what I have left for my coffee and just use almond today. So we're gonna do half a cup of seeds to two cups of almond milk. So that means eight of these little guys. So, if you're making chia seed pudding at home, you really don't need to add anything else. However, I love honey, so I'm gonna add some honey in here. Whatever else you add to this is totally optional, and you can have fun and make different, make, oh my god, my, you can such a klutz. You can make it different every time. I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla, and then lastly, I've been loving this in it, cocoa cinnamon sugar from Trader Joe's. Just sprinkle that on top, kind of make it a sweet treat, you know? And usually with my chia pudding, I'll top it with berries once it's done, but that's literally it. You're gonna mix it up and then put it in the fridge and make sure you wait at least overnight and it'll be ready for you in the morning. And it's delicious. Let me know if you guys end up trying it. All right guys, meal prep is officially done. Let me show you what we have and what we're ending up with. Okay, so we have our tuna salad for meats. We have the chicken. We have the tuna steaks. And then for vegetables, we have our onions, our mushrooms, and our bell peppers ready to go. And then for fruits, we have pineapple and watermelon and berries. And then we have our chia seed pudding right here. There is one last thing that I'm gonna make probably when I when I hang up the phone with you guys, and that's just rice. I'm gonna cook a batch of rice, just plain white rice that I can use 
sparingly however I wish this week. So other than that, that is basically what I do more or less on my meal prep days. Sometimes I'll make some like roasted potatoes or something like that, but this week, this is what it is. So ask and you shall receive. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I think I'm gonna wrap up this video, otherwise it's gonna be super long. So thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Please let me know what else you guys wanna see from me on my channel. And if you have not yet already, please follow me on TikTok and Insta. I've been way more active on TikTok though. It's so much fun, I love it. So I'll see you over there too. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.